So if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe and help me grow this channel. Thank you very much. So let's continue. So far, we've learned that in order to access a function inside here, we have to instantiate the class, create an instance, and then do stuff with it and create another instance and so on. But there are times when you have a very simple function inside a class and you want to access it without having to make an instance altogether because these classes can get rather big and they chew up on memory depending on what they do. And there will be times that you just want a simple function uh, done and you don't want to create a whole instance for it. For example, if you have a function that says uh, generate ID, it's a very uh, simple function here that would be a waste if you had a very large class and you just wanted that thing, that thing, uh, that function, sorry. So what I will do here, I'll tell it to return a random number from zero to nine, 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 nine. Okay. Simple enough, right? So let me remove all these instances and do that there. So what I want to do is how do I access this without having to create an instance? Because here, when we create an instance, we access things using the name of the instance. But since we don't have that, what we will use is the name of the class itself. So I'll copy this and then I'll say product. And you have to put two full colons like this. It means you are trying to access something inside the class without creating an instance. So here I will say generate ID. So paste there like this. And that's how you access something directly. So if I refresh, of course I see nothing because it's just returning the number. And so we could either do echo like this, which will work fine. I do that. Or we could assign the value to a variable, something like number is equal to, and then we can use number or just simply echo it like this. So same thing, we're just going to see a random number generated every time. Okay, so this is how you access something directly in there. However, if I want to access this, for example, the price here, I'm going to have problems. So if, for example, I say number is equal to the price. Now, notice that I've removed the brackets here because it's not a function. And also I have put the dollar sign in there because it's a variable, right? Because normally what we would do is we'd say book like this and say price. When we are using an instance, you see the dollar sign is over here. But when we are doing it in a static manner, the dollar sign is here and not on the class name. Okay, so keep that in mind. And if I try to do this, I'm going to have a an error. So let's try and see that error. So it says a fatal error, meaning uh, the script can't continue uh, with this. So access to undeclared static property. So what this means is that it's telling me that there is a static property that I'm trying to access that is undeclared. Okay. So it means for me to access a property this way, it must be declared as static. So fine, I'll leave the public there and I will put static at the beginning here. See like that then we won't have a problem anymore. So it shows me the number there, which it contains. Now you can put the static at the beginning or you can put it after public. It doesn't really matter. You can jumble these anywhere you want. These are called accessors, which we are going to look at in the next video in detail. But for now, just know that you can put them in any order. It's entirely up to you. So, we will get into detail on how these work in the next video, obviously. But what I wanted you to see is how to access the different ways of accessing things from inside the class. But the question is, let me remove this uh, because we are done with that for now. The question is, uh, how do you access a variable that is here from within the class itself? 
So this is what we want to see here. So for example, if I want to calculate the total like here, so I want to say something like total is equal to, I guess say total is equal to 10 times 20, something like this, okay? So in order for me to do this, oh, here I could do that, something like this, and then let's say calculate total. So let's bring back our instance here and then let's use it to calculate a total like this, calculate total. So I want to, so it's not returning anything uh, here, but what I want to do is say return total like that. So calculate total. So the total we're talking about is this right here. So I want to echo the result here like this. So let's observe the errors that we get here because we definitely, oh, surprise, surprise, we didn't get some errors. So what exactly happened here? Well, total, this is a valid uh, calculation here, no worries. But now what we need to do is to confirm if total uh, actually there's no other way of confirming since we are doing it this way so the point i'm trying to make is that the total that we are getting here is not actually this total right here okay so how can we know that is if i made this one a static variable like this and try to access it you will see that i will get a very different number <clears throat> over there so if i say echo and then I will put product there. So let's put product there and do that. And let's get total, shall we? Total, like this. Yeah, that was correct, actually. So here, I don't want to echo this. I just want to do the calculation, right? Because if I'm editing this one, it definitely is going to change. So now if I come back here and refresh, you see that uh, it's still zero. It hasn't changed at all, even though we have multiplied a number. And that's because when we do this, we are not talking about this variable over there. It's very different when you're inside a procedural uh, script because whatever um, variables are outside here will be the variables you are using in here once you start changing variables, you change the variables that are outside here. But in this case, we have to specifically tell it that we are talking about a variable up here. So how do we do that? Well, let me remove this. We do that by using the keyword this. So this like this. So remember the same way we are accessing things uh, from the instance like this. This is exactly how we do this. Now the reason we use this and not um, book like this is because we don't know what the name of the instance is going to be once while we are creating the class itself, right? Because remember these are going to be instances. They're going to be copies of the same class here. Now, each copy that is made is unique because if you change something inside that copy, it doesn't affect other copies or the original class. So these are unique entities that you're creating here. Now, because we don't know the name of that entity that is going to be created, this is why we use this like this. Now, this will represent whatever name, like in this case, I've created this as book here. So in this case, this represents book because it's talking about this instance right here. This whole class, I mean, is an instance and this represents that particular instance. So just saying this total, meaning the total inside whatever instance you are trying to, uh, you've created at that moment is going to be this. So hopefully that is clear enough. So once I do this, if I now try to access total, I'm going to find that total is uh, a different value this time. Okay, so this is how you do it 
to access something within the function. Now, it's the same thing when accessing functions. So if I want to access a function from within uh, this place, I would do exactly the same thing. So if I say function read, this is just for reading stuff, right? So in, in this case, we want to read what Toto is. So if I uh, do that to Toto, which is this one, I can now read from Toto if I want this Toto. So I'm going to return this, return this Toto. So what I want to do is say calculate Toto. After I calculate, then I read from it. So here we've calculated, then now I want to echo out the same total. So I will say read like this, so that we set the total, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we read from it. So let me come back here and refresh. Okay, so we have a syntax error on line 24. So we wrote something wrongly here, uh, and that's because we missed out the semicolon. Okay, so back to business, refresh, and we get 200. Okay, so we're getting 200, which is 10 times 20. That is correct. So once we've set it here, we can later on read from it, and we'll find that the value is persistent because it's inside the same instance. So if I create a new instance here, like the same repeat instantiate, put book two, Remember that this value will default to zero because this is exactly a new copy and is not this particular one. Because here we are changing only the this of that particular time, the instance at that time. So this number that was changing here was only for this particular instance. And that's why we use this as the accessor to access these things in here. Okay. So that's how you access things that are within the class itself. So always remember that whenever you're talking about something inside the class, use this and then put that arrow there, whether it's a function or not, because even inside here, I can refer to a function like calculate here, for example. So this calculates the total, right? And returns the total. Uh, but I don't even need to return the total here because once I say this total, it means I'm still updating that. So here, what I want to do instead is to return uh, the calculation from here, that calculation there. So I'm say, going to say this like so. So this calculate total and I return whatever that is. So in a similar manner that we're accessing this uh, entity there, this property or variable, is the same way I'm going to use one function to access another function. I will still use this and the function. So let's see how that, let me remove this, echo book read. So we are echoing this. So of course we are still going to get 200. Or are we, right? Return this calculate. So since this is not returning anything, yeah, what we want to do is do that. We say this calculate, and then we return this total, which is this one here, so that we see if it has changed or not. So first we calculate which will affect that total, and then we return it. So let me come back here and refresh. Ooh undefined variable total on line 24 and that's because i have used a dollar sign which is against the rules so let's come back here and refresh and we still get 200 okay so i hope you are understanding what's going on here the main point of this video is to tell you that in order to access uh something from outside the class you use the instance name and then the arrow, and then the item you're trying to access. Now you use the same method inside the class. The only difference, difference is that because you don't know the name of that current instance, you're just going to use the word this, which will refer to this particular instance. It's not referring to the class, no. 
it's referring to that particular instance you are dealing with at that time. This is why this only affects the details of one instance that you created and if you create another instance it will have different values because they were not affected by the this keyword here. So hopefully you understand what's going on here. I will see you in the next video.